Hi, Chasing Gravel fam. Welcome as we head over to Venice. We picked the 25 euro per person pass for the day for the simple reason it included all ferries, trains, trams, anything we want to ride on. With the two kits going to Venice, you are going to use a lot of ferries getting from point to point and seeing as much as you can. Also, if you stay on the ferry, you see a big part of Venice, everything along the canal and it's absolutely beautiful. It's long been known that Venice suffers from subsidence, built on a muddy lagoon with inadequate foundations, the ground beneath it has slowly compacted over time. This, combined with the groundwater being pumped out from under the city and a gradual rise in sea levels, has resulted in the city very slowly sinking. Did you know that Marco Polo was Venetian? Around 400 from Dolos flood through the city's canals today. The Rialto market is nearly a thousand years old. The famous horses of St. Mark's Basilica aren't actually Venetian. Venice was once an independent empire and it was extremely wealthy. The city rests on 118 islands separated by 150 canals. There are no cars in Venice. Venice is known for its lace and glass. Only four bridges cross the Grand Canal. The higher than normal high tides from the Adriatic Sea rush into the Venice Lagoon and over ancient squares into ground floors and leave priceless monuments submerged. City leaders turned the tide and placed temporary glass barriers to protect the 900-year-old St. Mark's Basilica. Picking the wrong time of year, you might get up to your knees at the St. Mark's Square being flooded. 